Hello there, and welcome to Leslie's Reading Room, where Leslie, me, I read extracts from well-beloved children's books. And today, because Easter is upon us, I've been thinking about chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, and uh, more chocolate. So guess what? I'm going to read an extract from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. Here in the beginning, I've got a lovely extract that will serve you for the weekend. Are you ready? Are you listening? Okay, here we go. In the town itself, actually within sight of the house in which Charlie lived, there was an enormous chocolate factory. Just imagine that. And it wasn't simply an ordinary enormous chocolate factory either. It was the largest and most famous in the whole world. It was Wonka's factory, owned by a man called Mr. Willy Wonka, the greatest inventor and maker of chocolates that has ever been. And what a tremendous, marvelous place it was. It had huge iron gates leading into it and a high wall surrounding it and smoke belching from its chimneys and strange whizzing sounds coming from deep inside it. And outside the walls for half a mile around, in every direction, the air was scented with a rich, heavy smell of melting chocolate. Twice a day, on his way to and from school, little Charlie Bucket had to walk right past the gates of the factory. And every time he went by, he would begin to walk very, very slowly. And he would hold his head high and nose high in the air and take long, deep sniffs of the gorgeous chocolatey smell all around him. Oh, how he loved that smell. And oh, how he wished he could go inside the factory and see what it was like. Just up to there, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. If you have liked this video, please click on my like button and subscribe to my channel for more wonderful stories for children and to be entertained like this one from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And if you'd like to, you can get hold of a book even an audio book. And I promise you, this book, just like chocolate, doesn't disappoint. <laughs> Bye for now.